How's it going guys? It's Fortune3 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my thumbnails for my YouTube channel. And now I'm going to be using a program called GIMP. That's G-I-M-P as you can see up here in the top left hand corner. This is available for Mac OS X and Windows. So the download link will be available in the description below. So make sure you go check that out if you want to use this software. So I'm going to be making an, uh, making an example of my survival let's play series thumbnail so what we're gonna start with is we're gonna go up here to file and we're gonna go to new so with it's gonna be 1920 by 1080 p so just put those dimensions in and I'm just gonna go to advanced options and do background color transparency so there you have it so that is the size of the thumbnail and now we can get started so what I usually do is do the border first so we're gonna make come over here right click make a new layer and I'm just gonna name it border it's gonna be the same dimensions and it's gonna be transparency of course so then what I like to do for the border is I like to go to the pencil tool over here and I like to go down to here the size I'm gonna make it 50 and by the way guys GIMP I think is probably one of the easiest softwares to use once you get used to it because it's just repetitive and repetitive and it's just easy to locate certain tools and and features and stuff so we're going to take the pencil tool at a size of 50 pixels and I'm going to take I'm going to press Z on Mac and we're going to zoom in to here and I'm going to take the pencil tool oh I forgot I also want to make this the square pixel paint uh pencil edge and I'm gonna bring it right down here to the corner I make I'm gonna make sure that it's on white and I'm just gonna click in the corner now I'm gonna scroll over here all the way to the other side and now I'm going to hold shift and that means it'll draw a straight line to wherever I click my next point and it'll pretty much just outline the whole border of the page and I'm just gonna do this all the way around and it should be a 50 wide pixel border in white all the way around so then I'm gonna zoom out with the minus key or the hyphen and there we have it so there is the border now how do we change the color I'm gonna take the fuzzy select tool I'm gonna select the white and now I'm gonna decide what color to do so I'm thinking I'm gonna do green so let's find a green color. How about we go to this over here? Uh, you know what? I actually do like using this better. So I'm going to find a light green and a dark green. So let me find a nice rich green color. Uh, I think that's a good color. And then we are going to go to the same color. And then I'm just going to make it a little bit brighter. I'm going to bring it up to 90. And then uh, I think I'm just going to make this one a little bit darker so that you can see the contrast. So now I'm gonna to go to the gradient tool over here. Oh, uh, no, the blend tool, pretty much the same same thing. Gradient tool, blend tool. Now the shape, I'm linear. Yes, I'm gonna keep it as linear. And now I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna drag from dark to low. So I'm gonna make sure that my dark color is selected first. And I'm just gonna drag it in this shape because I want I want the blend to be right here in the middle somewhere. The bigger the stretch between colors you go, the smoother they will blend. The smaller, then the it'll look like a line where they, where they mix. So that's that, and now it looks like it's fading one into the other. Now I'm just gonna go straight to here, select border, and I'm gonna put on a border of, I think, three. And now, since I don't want now I think I'm just gonna take the, I think I'm just gonna take a darker color like this and I'm just gonna darken it to about 40. And now I'm just gonna take my pencil tool and since I don't want to get this highlighted area out here, I'm gonna just click here with the pencil tool, shift, click, and bring it all the way around and then it'll just get that inside border. select none and there you have your border so that's already step one border is done and now we can move on to just plopping in the screenshot so I took a screenshot 
from my Let's Play world, and I put shaders on, and I'm just going to bring this in here. Now you want it to be underneath the border, but you want it to be in front of the background. This is pretty much going to be the background of the um, of the thumbnail. You could do whatever picture you want. I'm just showing you guys how if you want to make it like a Let's Play thumbnail or, or something like that. So now we have the background in, we have the border on, and now it's time for step three. Now we're going to go for the episode box. So you could decide whichever corner you want it in, bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right. Uh, but I'm going to put it in the top left like I usually do. So we're just going to new layer, and I'm going to name it episode box, just like that. That And I spelled it. Uh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. Episode box. So there we have it. And now I'm going to put this. It's going to be underneath the border, but it's going to be on top of the background. So clicked on the episode box. Now we're going to go to a black color. And I'm also going to just rectangle select tool. And now I'm just going to bring it in the top corner. And I'm going to see about how big I want that. Now think about it. You're going to have to fit a number in there. So I think that's a good size. So you're going to take that and now you're just going to fill it with black, but not yet because you also want to change the opacity of it. It's going to make this not a solid black color. It's just going to make it clearer. So I'm going to bring it down to about, I think 25. And now we're just going to take the fill tool and fill it. So it's not dark enough. I'm going to do it again and once more. And I think that's good enough. So now we're going to do select border. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a border on of three. I'm not going to do feather border. I think I'm just going to do a regular border. And now I'm just going to take black, but opacity of 100. So it's going to be a thick black color. And I'm going to take the pencil tool and just go around the border like this. Don't go outside. Select none. And there we go. So that is the episode box. Now, before I get on to the fonts and such, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do drop shadows. So first, let's do the border. I actually want to do this before, but I actually forgot because I just didn't want to take too long on one step or whatever. So I'm going to take the border and we're going to select the whole border. You're just going to take the fuzzy select tool, click and drag until it selects all of what you want selected. Now we're going to go up here to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. And what I like to do is put offset X 10, offset Y 10, blur radius 20. I always keep it at blur radius 20 and then opacity. I'm going to keep it at 75. Actually, yeah, 75 is good for the border. And then take allow resizing off, uncheck that. Otherwise, it's going to distort your whole picture and it'll be actually bigger than what you want it to be. And so you're just going to click OK and it's going to be a drop shadow like that. As you can see up here, there's a drop shadow and over here. And it looks like the border is actually above the background picture. Now we're going to select none and make sure whenever you're working on a diff, whenever you go to work on a different uh, layer, make sure you always take off what you're selected, select none, because otherwise it'll create floating layers and you'll have to anchor them in and, and stuff. So then uh, let's go to the episode box. And now we're just going to select all that. And we're going to go to select. Uh, no, we're not. I'm sorry about that. Wait, yeah. No, filters. <laughs> I'm sorry. Light and shadow, drop shadow. And since it's this, since we're going to be doing the same thing, we actually don't have to go into here. If you want to do the same exact drop shadow that you've done already without changing it, just hit Control F, and it remembers that, and there it is. Select none, and there you have the drop shadow. Now I don't know what that is. Is that a just? Okay, that's fine. It was just white for a second, so I was just wondering like what that was. Okay. So now that we have the episode box, the border, and the background, it's time for step four. And now it's time to do the titles. So since I have a green border, what I'm probably going to do is for one of my texts, I'm going to use green text. And I'm probably going to use the exact same colors. So here's the light green. 
And then let me just take the eyedropper tool. I'm just gonna see what color this was exactly. Okay, so there we have it. So now, like what I would do, like I said, I'm gonna be using this, I would be using this for a let's play. I'm gonna take the text tool over here. And now I'm just gonna make sure I'm on top of everything. Take the text tool and I'm just gonna drag a box like this. Now I'm gonna click in the box and I'm gonna type what I wanna type. So I'm gonna type in let's play. So now I'm gonna highlight that and a font I like to use is American Captain. So I'm gonna show you guys that. You guys have probably seen this all over YouTube channels. I just think it's the neatest looking one. But anyways, I, well, I think it's a very cool font. So you guys are probably like, no, don't don't use American Captain. Everybody uses it, but I think it looks cool. So I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna put this on a, on a font size of two, f no, not 215, that's too big. That's too big. I think I, I had it on, what was it? What, what was it, 150? I, I think I had it on a font size of one fit, or that might be too small. So let me go 175, just for the purposes of the video. And there we go. So now we have Let's Play right here because you don't want it to take up too much of the video or, or the, uh, the thumbnail. Actually, let's put it back to 150. I know that's what I have it as on my current series. That's the size of the Let's Play word. So now we have Let's Play. And now we want to select each and every letter and every apostrophe in here. Okay, make sure each one is selected. And now we have the colors already selected over here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the blend tool or the gradient tool. And I'm gonna come down here to shape and I'm gonna change linear to bilinear. Now it's gonna start with the first color and end with the first color instead of starting with the first and ending with the second. So now what we're gonna do is start with the dark color. Start from the middle of the word and just go up and get that straight line. And it should look like that. Now I'm gonna go straight into border. I'm gonna border it of two. And now I'm just gonna flip the colors and do the same exact motion. And there you have it. So there's the let's play word. I'm just gonna drop this down a little bit because it does look a little up there in the thumbnail. Now I'm just gonna select everything again. I actually shouldn't have deselected it. select every letter and then we're gonna put another drop shadow on it but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a drop shadow on it that's just vertical so it's just a Y drop shadow Y axis drop shadow I'm gonna go 10 actually no offset X 0 offset Y I'm gonna do 15 blur rate is 20 but I'm gonna do a 100 opacity keep allow resizing off and there we go oh my god sorry for that so there we have that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna change the colors to white and gray. And I'm gonna come back to the text tool and now I'm gonna go for the survival part. So I'm just gonna make a text box, click in the text box, type your text, now you're gonna highlight it. Change the font. I think this is the one I had on 215. Yes, it was. And now I'm just gonna put this on black for now. Make that box a little bit smaller. And I'm just gonna bring it right above the let's play word. Now I'm gonna select each and every letter in the word that I'm working in with, that I'm working with at the moment. Get your colors ready, go to the blend tool, bilinear, darker color in the middle, it's what I do. So you guys could always change that up and do whatever you like. There we go. And then go straight into border. And I'm gonna border it two again. And then flip it. And there we go. Now since they're, uh, now I just have to Select all. And 
And then since I want to use the same drop shadow that I used for the Let's Play word, I'm just going to hit, just going to hit Command F, and it'll use the same exact drop shadow that I used previously. Select none. So there we have that. And now, as you can see, as I click off of that, you have the survival let's play word. And uh, now it's time to go for the episode number. So I'm pretty much just gonna use the same font, same technique, and I'm just gonna come up here. The size I use is, well, let's see. Well, what number should I use? I'll just do episode one. American Captain, and this size is going to be 250. I'm going to make that black. Now this is too far down. I'm just going to bring that forward. Okay, so now we're just going to go 1, 2, and we're going to go gradient, flip those colors, select border, I think it's right now I do a border of three. Whoops, nope, didn't mean to do that. And by the way, guys, if you mess something up, just hit Command Z or Control Z on on Windows, and it'll just undo your last move. Select none, and there you go. And then just come back to the fuzzy select tool, select all of it. And then we're just going to do the same border. But first, I just want to make sure that it's in the right spot. So let me just move this. Okay, now we're just going to select them both. Command F. Drop shadow. Select none. And there you have that. But we're missing one thing. Just the Minecraft word. So I have this on my desktop right now. I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to bring it all the way forward so we can see it. And now it's too big. Now we're going to be using the scale tool. So come over here to the scale tool, or that's shift T. And now I'm just going to make them uh, the same. And now we're just going to shrink it to about, what would be a good size? 800. And I'm just going to take the move tool and bring it here. Minecraft survival let's play perfect and that guys is how I make my thumbnails for my survival let's play series and for all the videos on my channel and for all the videos that will soon to come so that's that I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this helped you guys I hope you guys can learn from this and maybe use some of these techniques for yourself um, but thank you guys so much for watching if this helped, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.